152 mm howitzer Star B is designed to destroy artillery and mortar platoons, tanks and other armored vehicles. However, in the Bakhmut direction, its work is important in destroying defensive structures and enemy manpower. The maximum firing range of the howitzer is over 24 kilometers. Artillery men say that this keeps the enemy at a safe distance, and to most such military equipment is not difficult. This thing is not complicated. The main thing is to have inspiration and love this toy. It performs its duties very well. The main thing is that we are given timely charges and shells for them. We have been working on this toy for quite a long period of time, and it performs its functions. Holding combat positions and conducting assaults, the military says, is a team effort. Accurately and quickly strike at the target. Air reconnaissance helps artillery. Mm -hmm. They directly send us the coordinates of the target or we sit here and see the picture. We determine the coordinates and only then we have a special software program that calculates all the settings that need to be set on the Hovitzer. We quickly transfer all these installations to the gun commander. In turn, cannon artillery is a combat cover for the Ukrainian infantry. The work of the Havitzer helps the fighters repel attacks and carry out a counteroffensive. Lately there were such conclusions that they have fewer shells. Yes, this is true. Recently it has become a little quieter on their part and it is felt that they have problems with transportation. We also feel it, and this is really the result of our work, because we blow up warehouses a lot. The number of assault actions in the Bakhmut direction by the enemy does not decrease. Here, at the positions of Ukrainian military personnel, you can clearly hear how large caliber artillery is working, mortars are working, and you can hear automatic bursts. This suggests that the fighting for the city continues. The Ukrainian defenders are not going to give the Bakhmut to the Russian invaders. They say it is not easy to keep the enemy away, but they add that there will be enough strength to return all the occupied territories. Our goal is the borders of 1991, that is, we do not need someone else. Well, we'll see if they fall apart, maybe we will take the Kuban back. <laughs> Reported by Pavel Stelmach, Diana Kolesnik, Alena Gramova, UATV News.